for Joe Skeletor Giannetti! going on guys so i got a really cool video for you today a little bit different than the vlogs and everything else it's actually going to be an unboxing video for my new cinch controller this is a custom controller that i got from cinch and before anybody wonders yes i am actually affiliated with cinch but this is going to be an unbiased review i've never used my cinch i've never even held a cinch um so i'm going to be giving my first thoughts on unboxing and then i'm going to use a little bit and then i'll come back to you guys and let you know what i think if this is something that I enjoy and I think is valuable, I would love to give one away to Skeletor's Evil Army when we get to about 100 subs. You know, we crushed that sub goal last year, um, and then when I went to California to train for my fight, I couldn't really stream. I think I streamed once or twice, and it was very, pretty low quality. I don't think you guys could hear me, uh, or I couldn't see chat. It was a whole big mess. So it's going to be something that I'm going to be keeping up on moving forward. Next time I go to California, I'll have uh, hopefully have a new gaming laptop. So I'll be able to keep these high quality streams with you guys. But this is something that I really think that I'm going to enjoy. And I think it's something that you guys would enjoy. And I'd love to give back to you guys for all that you do for me. So let's just get right into it. First, we got the Cinch label. Cinch Gaming, baby. But this controller is looking sleek, man. So let me just grab it real quick. So, big majority of my setup is anime and Itachi themed, but I went Goku themed for this controller. Right off the rip, it's really light. So here we go. We got the Dragon Ball Z, blue and orange, black sticks. So they actually come, get rid of this box. So they actually do come with different height and different texture sticks. Uh, I go with the long right stick and the short left stick. It's just something that feels good for me. So. If you've seen any of my streams, you know that I have used a scuff in the past, and I know plenty of people love scuff. Great controller when it works. I love it, I think it feels great, the weight's good. But if you've seen my streams, you know that I fly through paddles. I personally don't think that I, I hit the paddles too hard, but I always end up snapping them in half. And they're not exactly the cheapest, and you can't just run down to a GameStop or a Target and get new paddles. So that's a big hassle for me, because my whole gameplay now is, is based around having those back paddles. Well, Cinch kind of has something a little similar, but personally I think might work out better, is they don't have paddles on the back, they have actual buttons. They have options, you can do four buttons, you can do two buttons, and when you order your Cinch online, you can customize it however you want. Me personally, I just did two buttons, B and A, it's all I need so I can slide, cancel, and jump. I play mostly shooters, so that's all I really need. But yeah, so you've got action buttons on the back here. So that's something that I really am excited about. You know, the scuff paddles are back here and we've got buttons on the side. It feels nice. It just feels like it's right where my fingers are anyways when I hold the controller. So I'm not even moving to hit anything. So I think that might actually add a little or take off a little reaction time mid game. And then something that I didn't even know about until I started really looking in the cinch before I was on the team is the mouse click triggers, you know, a lot of people say mouse and keyboard have the advantage, you just have your whole arm, and that it's so much easier to just click a mouse. You know, you can just click, if, if you listen to this, I don't even know if you can hear that. But they do have mouse click triggers. The stop on this, look how much that moves. I'm pressing the trigger. That's really cool. You know, I don't have the fastest trigger finger, unless we're playing like Nazi zombies. So, I, I could use all the help I can get. Really excited about this controller. It's got a sleek design. We got the all white back, the blue action buttons. B and A, we got the Dragon Ball Z going on the front. Uh, I'm gonna get some games in with this and I'll come back to you guys and I'll let you know. Oh! Your fucking face is gone, bucko. Guys, woo! You're good. I suck. That kid sucks work. Oh my god. 
can't even talk shit because I'm trying to work. Oh, I'm coming! Down. Another one's flying in the harbor. Oh, I'm loading. Down. Hel helicopter door, right? Guys above on decon. Fucking breaking their ankles. I downed him. I know. I know. Oh my god. 
<laughs> You're all bad. Down them. Overall, I think that the Cinch is a really awesome controller. Obviously, I'll have to keep you guys updated with how it holds out in the future. As of day one, there was no negative side effects of having to use a controller with action buttons compared to the paddles, but I feel like I made the right choice with the two buttons. This is how I hold my controller when I play, so hitting two more buttons up here might just not be it for me. I only used two paddles in the past anyways, so now holding it like this and just being able to tap whatever I need without even having to move my fingers is awesome. Mouse click triggers make a huge difference. I've used, you know, controllers in the past for trigger stops. My biggest problem was when I play a game like Call of Duty and you have to drive vehicles, you know, cars, helicopters with the right trigger to accelerate, the trigger stop kept it from going its full speed. So I could never be the guy that would drive when we're playing Warzone. Or if I did jump in the drive, I'd have to hit the switch on the back of my controller to move the trigger stop and then I could go full speed. With this, I get this mouse click, I don't know if you can hear it, I get that, barely any movement, and we go full speed. So that's really cool. That's something that you don't really think of too much until you're in the game. I really love this controller, and if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will have the link in the description. Give it a click. Use Evil Army at checkout. Check out Cinch Gaming. Uh, I'm really happy with these products, and like I said, I would love to do a Cinch controller giveaway when we do get to 100 subs. Just a way to give back to you guys because none of this is possible without you guys. And you know, we started in literally started in my basement streaming. Now we got our own apartment, we got this nice little setup here. Uh, and you know, the next step is to just get a, a gaming laptop for when I'm in California so I can keep these streams up and keep you guys entertained and vibe with you guys while I'm in fight camp. We streamed in the past, the last camp wasn't too bad, the one before that was kind of a mess. So we're hoping to improve and get that going for this next one. But I hope you guys like the video. If there's anything gaming, fight camp, vlog-wise that you want to see in the future, drop it in the comments and let me know. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.